Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. And if you like fashion, college, married, student content, that's what I post on here. So today we're going to be having a transition to fall outfits lookbook type of deal. And I just wanted to show you a bunch of cute outfits that I'm going to be wearing as the weather starts getting cooler. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. This first outfit I feel like is so cute because if you just did the sweatshirt and the flannel, it wouldn't be as cute. But adding the third piece is what I love about this outfit. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so. The second outfit I feel like is just a go-to. You got a graphic t-shirt, leggings, and a jean jacket. This is good for dress codes too. No friends of mine around. Outfit number three is a new fave with the sweatshorts and it's super comfortable if you don't want to wear a jean. Yeah, I wanna try myself in. Outfit number four, I love matching sets and it makes you look put together. So if you want to look like you tried but you really didn't, get a matching set. I'm just a lonely fucking you. Now when I drive around, don't feel it up. Why it's getting colder when the sun comes Outfit number five is very cute because it's just so lazy and cozy, but wearing a sweatshirt with shorts is good for the transitioning to fall. Outfit number six makes you look like a soccer mom and I love it. Just wearing a dress with a flannel wrapped around your waist looks so cute. It looks like you have your life together. For outfit number seven, I love wearing button ups, honestly, at all times. So tank tops, button ups with shorts and jeans, perfect. Outfit number eight, honestly, another classic. It's just the same thing, but with flannel. I'm obsessed with flannels. And if you don't know that, you probably don't know me personally. Outfit number nine is a sweatshirt with shorts, which I feel like is a perfect transition to fall because it's not too hot, but you're still gonna stay warm. Outfit number nine is honestly so cute and fashionable. The denim jacket with the neutral shirt I think is adorable and pairing it with boots makes it perfect for fall time. is honestly another just cute and cozy outfit good for transitioning into fall and I love the colors in this outfit too It's just another version of that button-up outfit, but it was with jeans this time. And honestly, I would wear this like every single day. Just a classic. Outfit number 12 is a little bit more fall time with the button-up peeking out under the sweatshirt. I just think this makes it look so put together and not as plain as just a sweatshirt and jeans. Outfit number 13 honestly is so cute and I love these colors transitioning into fall because the pink is still summery but the green is super full. So I just think this is a super cute outfit to transition to fall with. Outfit number 14 is the same thing as the other outfit. The only difference is the tan sweatshirt is a little bit more preppy and the boots makes it look really put together. 
Start your computations. Open number 15 is honestly for those lazy days where you just want to wear sweats but it's still put together. So putting it with a tank top and sneakers just makes it look like a real outfit that is super cute. Outfit number 16 is so adorable, perfect for transitioning to fall with the sweater and the skirt. It's just so versatile for the weather changes right now. I think we're getting into a weird area. This is also just super cute and put together. When you wear a sweatshirt under a pair of overalls, it just makes you look like you are gonna freaking kill the game. Go. This next outfit is also really cute, but I don't know if I would wear it day to day. Maybe for an Instagram picture because it doesn't seem practical, but I've seen a lot of people on Pinterest do this lately. This outfit is just so cozy and cute, pairing a summer dress underneath a sweater. Perfect, perfect transition piece. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I love to do those for you and I'll see you guys whenever next time is. <laughs> Bye guys.